is Brunella Crossing and I'm going to talk to you about how to manage your hair with uh, one hand when my hair uh, just kind of does this on its own it has quite a bit of volume in it already it has some curl in it and so it will hold a, a look and this is really important if you have one hand because you need a hairstyle that suits you that isn't going to take a great amount of time for you to try to put um, your hair up or just to make your hair look manageable. Um, I haven't even brushed the hair today. Blew the hair dry and it just poofed it up a little bit um, while it was doing that and I was going to show you how to put the hair up using a bear claw with one hand and that's one of the first things that I learned how to do. This is a fairly common uh, bear claw. Uh, some people call it an alligator clip. They've been around for a long time and it's an easy application to use. Um, the only thing about these is that sometimes they just don't look as professional um, as you might want if you're going to work or you're dressing up for a party or something like that. But it does help sometimes to pull your hair back. And when you're using an application to put your hair into different styles, you always want to start out with the dominant hand first. Obviously, <laughs> um, you want to start out with the dominant, the dominant side. It's hard to put the hair up if you use the don, the non-dominant side. So I'm going to show you just real quickly how to grab some hair on the side with this claw kind of clip. And what I'm going to let it do is turn just slightly so you can see. Is just let it go. Now I'm just going to turn and show you I'm taking my index finger and I'm pulling up the other half of the hair and what I'm going to do is show you how you can use your index finger and your thumb to put this hair up. You transfer the hair to your other fingers holding the hair in place and you use your index finger and your thumb to open the claw and you push the hair in with your pinky, maybe your ring finger, and then you push it under there. You open the claw so that it's pretty big and it'll grab that other side of the hair and push it in. And that'll give you an updo. You might want to separate the hair just slightly. I'm just going to do it again. This is a pretty quick process. You can do it many times. I'm going to turn back around, up on this side, combing it back. You can use these to comb your hair back. And then up on the other side, and then turning around so you can see what I'm doing, using that forefinger and the thumb, grab the hair, and just let it stay. And then you have a very nice little updo. But to do the bear claw, I'm using a white one so that you can see it against my brown hair. And it's a nice little way to put your hair up real quickly um, at the back. You can also do a crown uh, type of one to make it high up on your head and kind of give yourself a little swoop if you want to, a little bit of a poof. Um, you can also do that. And uh, you work that using the forefinger and the thumb, put that up. And then I want to show you how to put the hair, all of the hair up. Basically, I'm going to step back a little bit so you can see. You can see the back and how long my hair is. And I just take the hair at the nape of the neck and just pull it up on the opposite side of the clip. And the reason I do that is so that I can grab the hair with my pinky, my ring finger, and my longest finger, and then I can use my forefinger and my thumb to open the clip wide and just let it come over and grab that hair, and it'll give you a little flip. And now you have all the hair up. Um, it'll give you a little flip on this. It, a, a lot of girls kind of like that. They like to curl it type of look. You can make some tendrils, uh, maybe curl that a little bit. But this is just a really quick updo. If you have um, something that you need to do, uh, and a very active uh, thing, maybe you need to go outside, work, um, do some athletics or something like this, this is a very good way to keep the hair um, off the back of the neck. If you
have longer hair. Um, if you, one, one other option is if you don't like the swoop, this, this little piece that uh, comes out depending on the length of your hair, you can get that back also into one of these clips. So one, and then two, this, you want to work in thirds, two, taking it over to that side, taking that with my peaking feet, my peaky finger and just put it in and then you can take the hair and just put it up on the opposite side and then over. If you want extra security, turn the hair clip like this and it will dig those teeth in a little bit more and that will give you even better security and this won't fall. I'm actually tugging on the hair quite a bit right now and it's not falling out. Now I'm just going to turn it back so that the teeth are pressed up against my head and if you don't like this part you can actually take it, push it back down the side, the um, non-dominant side of the clip, open it up with your forefinger. You always want to work it towards the forefinger side. Use your other fingers to push it in, opening up the clip and then that'll take care of Another option is that you can put the hair up into a twist. I don't like to do the twist as much because it doesn't hold the hair as well. And so again, one and two. And then I'm gonna put this up. You can twist your hair like this and it'll give it a little bit of a twist down at the bottom. All I did was just take the hair in my hand transferred it over with holding it with those three fingers and then using my forefinger and my thumb I just start to twist the hair around. This would be similar to putting your hair into a bun. And then I take the twist on the opposite side, always the forefinger side on the non-dominant side of your body and then you want to hold it down with your thumb, transferring it over to the pinky ring finger, and you hold it down, that'll let these fingers open your breath. So you open it, and over the twist, and you want to get that in there, push it in. The reason I don't like to do the twist is because the twist it, it narrows the uh, amount of hair that you have in it. So instead of having a larger amount of hair just going up for the barrette to grab, you've twisted it and made it a long loop. And the reason I don't really care for it is because it tends to fall out. Um, it, while you're out working, um, it, it will tend to kind of come, say you go dancing or something like that where you have a lot of movement, it does tend to fall. It falls a lot more um, in the twist than it does if you just put one and then two and then you leave the, the, the rest of the hair um, kind of, you grab it up like you would put it in a ponytail but you can kind of see that I'm just using it and not, I'm not gathering it up into a real tight twist. I'm just sliding my thumb underneath by my neck and then pulling it straight up. And as you can see, what it's going to do is give all of that, probably about two inches, for my barrette to actually grab hold of this hair instead of a real tight twist that it was before. And I just lay it over and then you use the non-dominant side of the barrette again and you use a forefinger and thumb and then see how it will grab the hair. There's a lot of hair now for it to grab and it likewise then will give you a, a real nice um, tight um, look. So you can wear it just casual like that or um, you can use a, a really pretty uh, claw clip if you have one or if you don't like the little flippy part you can tuck that in as we did before and just have a nice little um, thing. I, if, if, you, if you tuck it in you might want to turn the clip sideways um, that, that will also give you a little bit of um, of performance. I do, and I do a lot of this by feel. I don't even um, look in the mirror much because I've done this for so long that I can kind of feel what parts are coming down. For example, this is coming down. Say you, you, you want it in, just tuck it up and over, up a little bit higher, and, and this part will go in. 
There, I'm just tucking it in. These, these claw clips work really well. Um, they work probably the best of, of some of the, the hair styling products um, that I have. And the only thing is sometimes they won't give you as professional of a look, unless you have one um, that's really pretty.